All right, is there any other business that needs to come before this board? Mr. Doherty has one thing. Anybody else have anything? All right. Okay, so I have a, a very brief statement from my context anyway. Um, I volunteered uh, for the board back in May of 2020, seeking really just to help in any way that my experiences may have been useful. As I look back on the last three years, I've had the opportunity to influence the district's direction on many of the challenges it faced during these very difficult years. Um, I've been thinking about this for a very long time, um, and I've come to the conclusion that now is a good time for me to step aside and allow a new community member to take this seat. And as such, I'm resigning from the board effective this Friday, June 30th. Uh, I've believed in an experientially diverse board. And as such, my final recommendation to the board is to search out a new leader from Loveland with a strong business background and fiscal orientation to fill my seat. And beyond this interim appointment, I urge the community to elect a member in November with these qualifications for the next full term as the issues of fiscal stability, organizational growth, and ever-changing dynamics of our population will continue to confront the district for many years to come. I've been honored to serve the district and our community. I've appreciated new friends, new friends made, and new things learned. I'll choose to remember this experience not through the conflicts and challenges that we've all faced, but rather the thousands of faces lining our homecoming parade route, filled with excitement and the coming together of a community that seems to always happen when we focus on our youngest. I wish the district continuing great impact on the future success of every child who enters its doors. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a lot of time and effort and energy and very much appreciated by us and the community. Thank you. All the gratitude that was expressed for the planning commission is uh, <laughs> <laughs> dwarfed by the gratitude. Um, I, I've known a lot of board members and I don't think I know any other board member who worked as hard as you did. So uh, I appreciate it. I would say you, you're leaving a lot on our shoulders because there's a big hole to fill. Uh, with the, without you uh, and your wisdom and your knowledge and your experience and your incredible tenacity to get into the bottom of tough problems, um, it's been great to work with you for three years. Thank you. I can honestly say I've never had a board member that is more interested in what I do than you have been. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to use your phrase, you had the capacity and the bandwidth to uh, make it very challenging. And I appreciate your insights and the time you've spent and looking over my shoulder. Really do. Thank, thank you. you. I would echo all of that. Just say thank you for bringing me here, being part of the team that brought me here. And, uh, your leadership is something that I appreciate your experience and leadership. We talk all the time about that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I won't stop bugging you about calling and uh, some of the difficult decisions, but I hope the community knows how hard you work for them because you worked hard for the kids, the staff, and this community. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to the community. Thank you. And um, thanks for bringing the resolution concerning the tax committee, both because I think it's a great thing for Loveland, but also because it got me into the policy like five policies down from the policy about filling a board vacancy. <laughs> so that it's right there on the screen. So um, I can simply make a, a brief announcement um, that our policy states that a vacancy occurs on the board when one of the following events occurs. And there are a lot of events, but one of them is resignation. Whenever a vacancy occurs, the board shall fill the vacancy at its next regular or special meeting, but not earlier than 10 days after the vacancy occurs. The board shall take the following steps to fill the vacancy. The board shall seek qualified and inter interested candidates from the community through the news media, 
word of mouth, and contacts with appropriate organizations. All applicants are to submit a notice of their interest in writing to the treasurer. The board shall review all interested candidates' submissions to ascertain their qualifications and may interview selected candidates prior to a vote to appoint. Um, appointment by the, uh, by the board to fill a vacancy shall be appointed, shall be by majority vote of the remaining members of the board. And then there is a, a clause about if the board does not appoint a, a replacement within 30 days after the vacancy occurs, the probate count court of the county uh, shall act as the board and perform the duties. So there you go. Uh, but what this means is that the board uh, can not appoint a uh, replacement until after July 10th. There's a, there's a 10 day period there, June 30th to July 10th, but would according to the policy and that's written according to state law need to appoint a replacement at its July 18th meeting. Um, and so I'm asking that um, our superintendent and treasurer um, get the information out in the appropriate media um, and obviously there's an announcement that's been made this evening and it states that um, anyone who is interested should write such interest to the treasurer and then the board will figure out the next steps. Sorry to leave you with something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> what we're here for. No, that's not what we're here for, but we'll something do it. Do. Um, I, I guess I should say the appointment is Mr. Doherty's term ended at the end of this year. Correct. And so the appointment is to fill that term. Right. Um, and that's, so it's a, a very limited term for the, the appointee. 